What's going on guys? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports, back with another banger. I have in front of me another release from Nike. These look sick, honestly. These look really cool. It's from their brand new Game Over pack. If you guys are interested in seeing what these are all about, let's get into this video. Stay tuned. Before we get started guys, give a quick shout out to Evangelisha Sports. Once again, they're the sponsor for this video, so show them some love because they keep hooking me up and they are the reason I can keep bringing you this content. So show them some love, hit that link down below in the description. Thanks to them for sponsoring the video and let's get into this unboxing and review. Welcome back guys, Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports. Thank you so much for stopping by. I have another review for you guys, so if you're interested in checking this video out, well then just keep what you're doing, keep watching it, because we're gonna get into it. So here we go, unbox. Let's get into these boots, so. One out. I like the Phantom Vision, I think this colorway looks good, but this string bag, honestly, this is just awful in my opinion. <laughs> I really don't like the way this string bag looks. The two reds, they don't really match up in my opinion very well. Silver swoosh is cool, but I'm just not a fan of this string bag to be honest. I mean, it's functional, but I just don't like the design. Black strings, red, it's just this weird triangle at the bottom. Anyways, I don't like it. Pocket in the middle. There we go, toss that off to the side because I don't like it. All right guys, so there we have a quick look at the boots. Now these, I like. I wasn't a fan of the string bag, but these look cool. So bright crimson red color. It's almost like this infrared kind of color. They do look really sharp. I think these look really good. The little bit of darker red where the sock collar is, the dynamic fit collar, I should say. On the other side, once again, the triangle pattern that you have here, this sort of uh, I guess pass pad I'm gonna call it. It really is not a pass pad, but it's just sort of this element they've built into the Phantom Vision. Instead of being a different color this time around, it's actually the same color as the upper, just with this bolded black sort of outline, you know, just outlining the edge of the actual element itself. Silver swoosh on the medial side, silver swoosh over there on the lateral side, black graphic on the back, and that is pretty much it. The sole plate's kind of cool with this sort of gunmetal gray finish with a little bit of black tips on the studs. I think the boot looks good. I'm a fan of the design. I think it looks good. It really goes well with the Game Over pack and the brand new Phantom Venom. Now, that's utterly stupid. Why would you have a Phantom Venom and a Phantom Vision? They have two boots that are almost identically named the same thing. But let's let that brand go. So the Phantom Venom, I mean, uh, they, see, that's the problem. Sorry, the Phantom Vision, for God's sake. So the Phantom Vision, I've done one review of the Phantom Vision before. It's a good boot. I mean, I wasn't sold on it 100% the first time I saw it, but it's a solid offering. It's got a unique design, this brand new sort of tech in this quad fit system. I mean, it's not brand new now. I mean, the boot's been out for six months or so, but it is this sort of new design that we haven't really seen before. So you have a fly knit upper wrapping up the tire, the entire upper, but the inside of the boot is this quad fit system. So it's like this inner booty material made out of this sort of rigid mesh, I guess is the best way to describe it. And that's gonna lock in the fit and they actually have laces integrated into that mesh so you can tie the boot really you know, comfortably and, and just give yourself a really good wrap around your foot. So the sort of inner mesh really is the material wrapping your boot and then the fly knit is just wrapping that inner shell to give the boot a little bit more structure, that sort of texture that you're looking for and just offer, I guess, a unique fit. Something that's almost, you know, this one piece as they possibly can get, I guess, but I don't really know why they did it, but I mean, it's a, good, it's a good boot. It really is. It's a solid offering and it's a unique material. The sort of texture on the outside of the fly knit, I mean, you would never know it's fly knit unless they told you. Just because of the actual texture they put on the outside, it really does sort of feel like sandpaper. They have these little, you know, there's like these little, it looks like the Kobe Bryant symbol actually, that Mamba symbol. They have these little things sort of scattered about the actual upper material. It wraps the entire fly knit material and they're even larger and more aggressive in this sort of triangle element. And it's just giving you some grip on the ball. I mean, I don't know if it actually grips the ball to be honest, just because it doesn't actually have any rubber elements to it, but it just, it'll definitely give you some sort of texture. And then of course you have this exposed fly knit area right here. You can see my finger popping through where the laces actually are and that will expand allowing you to get your foot in. Let's move to the on-feet portion. We'll talk about fit and feel and what sizing's like. So again, slipping the boot on for the first time, it definitely, it, it creates a unique feel. I really do like what this boot is trying to accomplish. I don't think it's my absolute favorite on the market, but if I were to actually pick a boot from Nike to wear, it would probably be between this one 
and the brand new Phantom Venom. It'd be one of those two, probably, for me. So, it doesn't feel overly bulky, given that there are actually two separate layers, so you don't really need to worry about that. It does a good job of wrapping your foot. It offers a, a unique, snug fit, and I think that's really what its selling point is. It's a very good fit. It's comfortable, yet modern, yet responsive, and almost anything you would look for, and it does a good job of achieving that with this inner system, and it doesn't feel bulky, like I said, so that's a good selling point once again. It's probably not the softest feeling boot from right out of the box. Again, just because there's actually two layers of material and because the outer is actually filled with that sort of rough sandpaper-like texture, it probably won't give you the softest feeling boot as you, you know, as you maybe expect. But it's a good boot. Once again, it does fit well and it's a very, very solid offering. As far as sizing goes, I actually have these in an 8 and I'm very, very tempted if I would actually buy a pair to buy an 8. So that would be half a size larger than what I would normally consider my true to size. So if you are interested in these, again, Nikes, they're just all over the place. Why can't they get their sizing down? Go try on a pair for yourself because I really can't recommend a size for you guys with, you know, 100% conviction. That's it guys, I'm out of breath here with these Phantom freaking Visions. Phantom Venom, Phantom Vision, Phantom Venom, Phantom Vision. Why can't they have two different silo names? Anyways, that's it. That's it for me guys. I'm cool. I'm signing off for now. I got you a nice little review. I showed you the boots. Now it's all up to you. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section. Leave a like. And once again, if you're not subscribed, do yourselves a favor. Hit the button, because I've got a lot of great content for you. Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports. Peace.